and then you're gonna have to compete in this thing, right? You're gonna have to, basically, you're selling human life. Like that's what you do. Is like you get him for fifteen dollars an hour. You're trying to pimp him out for forty-five dollars an hour. You're trying to make a spread of thirty dollars an hour. Okay, and that's what you're trying to do. However, sometimes he doesn't show up at, at work. Sometimes his wife breaks up with him. Sometimes bad things happen and you don't see him. And that's just what happens. So you just find another guy. You have a roster. I don't want to harp on that too much more because if you guys have gotten a company over 100 grand a year, you're not doing it by yourself anymore. You have employees, you have help, and you realize that it sucks. Now, you have good help and you have bad help. I have good help, but I pay out the nose for it. I pay $210 a day for good help, and they're very, very good. They're firefighters. They're drug-free. I don't have to worry about them because the fire department takes care of them. And then on their off days, they're like, yeah, we want to run machines, not be bothered, listen to my music iPod all day, and like make cash. And that's what it is. But the future of this land, the, the future of this industry is you go from mowing to landscaping to machines. Because at some point you realize, oh, landscaping, I need laborers. But where's the money in landscaping? The money is in moving that boulder, ripping out that tree stump, digging the pond. The money is not in finishing touches, right? The, oh, well, you know, that flower died. Can you come back and fix that flower that died? And maybe put a little mulch around it because it's it just got dirty. That's not where the money is, okay? That's not where it is. The money is in the fact that you dug the foundation for a pond that a bunch of other people put flowers on top of. That's just what it is. And so at some point in time, Timothy, welcome to Scope. At some point in time, you're going to realize, enough landscape jobs, that the money is in replacing human labor. Because you're, ch you're, you're charging 45 to 65 maybe $85 an hour for that human labor. Once your machine shows up, you can throw those laborers out the window because I can do the work of 10 dudes in about an hour that they will do all week, all week. You're trying to put out like 20 yards of dirt, I'll get it done in 10 minutes. The rest of the people, they ain't getting it done in a long time. And at the last, at the last like uh, argument to that is that at the end of the day, you cannot find faster Mexicans, but I can find faster machines. I can go buy or build better and bigger machines. I can buy more specialized machines. I can do anything like that. And then when you try to bid against me, price to price, I'm gonna beat that ass every single time, and that's just what it is. Now, in the land work side of things, it's a progression from landscaping to land works. It's doing the work of prep for landscapers. It's working for landscapers. It's working for homeowners, but it's not doing finishing touches. It's not doing like, oh, can you smooth out that mulch around that plant? It's not that shit. It's there was oak trees there. There's no longer oak trees there. There's a little mulch on your driveway. I'm going to blow that off. Yeah, there's going to be some weeds here in a few weeks. Get your laborers to freaking spray them because we're not going to come out and do them again. You know what I mean? But we did just charge you $200 an hour to do that, and you can go find someone for $15 an hour to finish the rest of it. And that's exactly what Landworks is. So the progression of a landscaper in the landscaping industry is you start out in maintenance, you build up a maintenance route, you sell that maintenance route, you realize for the first time in your life you have 50 to 80 grand in cash in your wallet. Serious. I've sold five companies. I know that you can get 50 to 80 grand in cash after building up a lawn route. Like, I've got a course on how to build and sell a lawn route. But you build up a lawn route, you sell that thing off, you get into just doing landscaping. Why? Because now you have the contacts, right? So you have the contacts, you have the other landscapers. They're doing, they're referring you, and you show up because you have the machine. They have the laborers, they have the customer, but you have the machine. And because you have the machine, you're always going to have customers, always. 